Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. Welcome to the project. If this is your first time here, I do project videos every week using a Glowforge laser engraver. And if you like those type of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. And in this project, we will be engraving on a flask. Don't worry, it ain't anything in here yet. <laughs> okay, this is the design that I came up with right here. As you can see, we got a fisherman with the money sign right here. And he's fishing for some tasty drinks right here. In the sea, of course. Just a dope concept that I thought would be cool enough to put on top of the flask. What would you be fishing for with your money? Before we get started, I had to remove the cutting tray because the flask was too tall. So I decided to go with four quarter inch thick walnut sheets that I had, which equals one inch, giving me just the right amount of height that I needed for the flask. And while engraving, it moved. I was big mad. I mean, look at this. It shifted just a little bit and just messed it up all the way. And I only had two flasks, one to practice on and one to make. I think it shifted because of the air was getting in between the planks, like right up in here somewhere. I think that's what caused it. So I decided to use some half inch black acrylic that I have and some half inch clear acrylic that I have, making it one inch. I bet you them won't move. To make sure that it won't move, I added some tape to the bottom and the top. A quick little rinse off and a wipe down. Okay, here it is up and close. This one actually had like a little dent in it right here, as you can see, but it didn't affect the engraving at all. But as you can see, like right there where it's supposed to say whiskey, it left some detail out right there. And also in the tequila bottle, it left some detail out, but all the other ones came out really good. It goes some more detail out of the money sign but I think all of that can be fixed probably in the in Corel draw. If I were to probably pick a different font or something like that. But overall, it looks really, really good. I think it turned out really good because I just had to try it again. And there you have it. Laser engraved on a flash. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next project. Might put a little something in here now. No one I ain't gonna put anything in here. <laughs>